Welcome back to Let's Play God of War. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here on the surprisingly scenic Light Elf Outpost, looking for treasure and secrets and puzzles and what have you. Let's come over there for the nice view. This is the hundredth episode of the playlist, not including the supplemental videos. And I'm very proud to have come that far. It kind of felt like it was going to end when I lost all the progress, I won't lie. Hang on a tick. Oh no, I know what that is. Yes, that's the light we lit earlier for no reason. You know, because the sun never sets here for some reason. Well, now what the fuck am I supposed to do? Well, that's not that solution. Okay. I guess we'll go this way! I didn't realize Kratos couldn't jump while carrying something on one arm. Imagine how much of a pain in the ass it must have been to synchronize construction of nine identical uh, temples. I mean, first they'd need to figure out where that spot is in every dimension. Which I would imagine is just a huge pain in the ass when you're, uh, you know, having to go back and forth using complex spells and rituals as opposed to a machine. Uh... That doesn't seem to have actually done anything. I... Uh, okay? What the hell was the point of that? Can I turn it off with this one? You know, I did somehow didn't think so. Maybe I can steal that out of it. Oh, no, I can't. How about that? Well, that was really disappointing, not gonna lie. It doesn't do anything. Didn't make a chest or a fucking re realm tear appear somewhere. Can I get up there from the other side? Oh, I can't get anywhere from this side. I want to see if you do this same animation as... No, that's the one I just lit that I was looking at there. Okay. I think I can see the light from the other side of the wall reflecting off of this side, and that's weird. Nobody ever guaranteed it that it was going to be something good in every one of those. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there was a laundromat right next to that building originally, and that was how they powered the machines. Yeah, it's done a circuit. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, going back down. Huh. And just no, I can't. I don't know that I've consciously, or, you know, uh, said anything about it out loud, rather, but... I do appreciate, you know, I, I made a comment really early on how they seem to have gone out of their way to make this not feel like a uh, an escort mission, even though you were literally escorting uh, Atreus around the world constantly. At least I see this. <laughs> Suck it, the past!
And uh, I feel like one of those ways is uh, the animations there. Like, when I press B here, it's not, okay, wait for uh, Atreus to run up to you physically and jump on your back. It's as soon as I press this, the game warps him into position behind you. Like, if you're paying attention, he actually teleports quite a lot. More blue reflection just there. Symbol of fervor. No lore or anything. I guess they. I guess they really did just abandon this place after the uh, water rose. It's not. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. I got the one above the area that I got to up there. Where is that? On the other side of the lamp. Phew. I think. Yeah, yeah. I know where this is. Even with my awful sense of direction. I got that one. That's making the bridge there. No, can't throw him up there. As entertaining as that would be. No, there has to be more to that thing. I, I just know it. Okay, maybe I just didn't see that. That's a good spot for it. <laughs> At least once, uh, when I was getting into the boat, I could actually see Atreus, like, warp from one side of the, of the boat to the other. Like, it's funny, he just kind of slides along the ground really, really fast if you go frame by frame. Oh. Is that what that's about? I have to get all of them to do a thing? I was right! It is a damn realm tear! And that one did change color after I touched it. Oh, hell! Nice move! Here's my version. I forgot that didn't make you invincible! Oh, oh, ah, uh, shit. Not the bitter squirrel. Uh, fucking... Actually, that would stun the shit out of them, wouldn't it? I just need them off guard. No! Viking. Oh boy. Uh, if, if he misses his overhead attack, his mace gets stuck in the ground, and he's open for an attack. I didn't even notice that. Mind you, these days I'm not even sure if that's the right enemy, so... Oh, 
Oh, that recharged really quickly. Well, comparatively, anyway. That's funny. The angry squirrel is the uh, the one that lasts the longest. A giant ball of cheese. Mmm, tasty. Extra dimensional jerk holes. Um, eh, what the hell? Ratatoskar unle unle Earth's an extra consumable. All right, let's make this quick. Chuck. Bitter squirrel, indeed. When the name Bitter Squirrel came up, I had no idea what to expect from that. Damn straight! Now that's more like it. Perfect aspect of the realm. Uh, No, that would be way up here, wouldn't it? Oh, there's the hammer. Oh! Shout out to Edric, who says that the icon used to represent Andvari's hammer looks an awful lot like some depictions of Mjolnir. It even has the detail of the handle being short. I mean, I just thought it was meant to stick beyond that, but yeah, I can see it. Hammer of the Dwarven Blacksmith Andvari of value to Brock, since I forgot to read that last time. Uh, and while I'm doing that... Oops, that's not the right one. Heh. <laughs> Here it is. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who suggests that the reason Kratos can drown is because he no longer has Poseidon's trident to give him water breathing. <laughs> I like that. Very practical answer. Two more of those somewhere. Huh. A lot of keys. Huh, I don't see any other pristine of the realm stuff. That's weird. Where did that jewel thing I just found go? Maybe I just forgot the name of that one. Now I'm just looking at the icons. I don't see that jewel icon in there anywhere. That's weird, right? Oh, well. Well, I'm glad I saw that bucket. Bucket? Why did I say bucket? Oh, I did mean the bucket. Yes, the one that was hanging over one of those ropes. Except I think it was over there. Because that's why I went back up and found the, uh, the, uh, the, the light thing I'd been missing. I'd never seen one of those used that way before. I was going in a circle. It's embarrassing. Oh, uh, yeah, go, not like that, where it's, uh anything more than a light source. I don't know that I would have made that connection. I mean, if I weren't compelled to light all of them, it would be uh, kind of an issue. I probably just left. Oh, that was just a bird I saw in there. A lot of seagulls. Just take off at his new maximum sprinting speed. Where are these other maps at, anyway? Oh yes, my ship wrecked and sunk along with my precious key. Lies just below the waves perched on an underwater peak. I think that's the Isle of Death. I just need to remember how to get there. Oh, I made the turn this time. Uh, there it is. To the boat! Oh, hey. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. 
Yeah, even there, I mean, it's, it, he wasn't on screen for it. You might have seen how quickly Atreus just zoomed into the side of the boat. Oh, it's the severed head of a Draugr. Come on, it can't be something good every time. Have I been in there? What the hell is that? I thought this was the cave to Land Soother, but we're nowhere near Land Soother. Oh, hey, it's a droplet. God, I hate that. Draw sales dew of luck. A drink from the world of the dew of the world tree brings lasting benefits. Luck permanently increased by two. Maybe it would help if the symbol for luck wasn't a dice showing one. The Forgotten Caverns. What in the hell? I swear to God, it was someone's job to go through this game and say, hmm, this square inch of the map does not have at least five treasures or secrets on it. Uh. Well, now it's there. That's weird. That's weird, right? Oh, hey. I mean, it could be worse. It could be parrots, and they could be but pestering us all the time. Fuck am I? That's clearly one of the towers, but where the hell? Uh uh. Svartalfheim Tower. This is the land of the uh the dwarves, also known as Nidavilir. I remember that. It was a fun word. All right, Polly, want a cracker? <laughs> it's interesting to me that this game is going to such efforts to paint Odin and Thor as the villains, and we haven't even met them yet. Like, Zeus didn't play a huge role in God of War 1. I think he might only have shown up to, uh grant you the lightning throwing power and the uh, the save screen says Zeus has given you the ability to save your game or whatever it is but uh I mean you knew who he was by the time he became a bad guy certainly okay yeah I think that chest is closed I was all leaning in physically to get a better look at it. Oh, it's the, mm, it's the serpent again. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, hey, I should do this before I do that. Oh, God! Oh, boy, it's been an honor fighting alongside you. Catch.
right? Again with this? Uh, yeah. Oh. Come on, get up, brother. Yeah, that only works if you get the first one, for the record. Oh! The timer. Why, that gives me the ability to flee. Is that marked on the map? Great. Oh, it is! Bitchin'. Honestly, I was mostly being facetious with that. Uh, oh, that's a whole different... Why, why are we going in here? None of these other doors opened. That's more like it. Oh! Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. I remember that guy. Actually, maybe I'm tough enough to take him. One more time. No, no way of telling. Um, So screw it. I wasn't supposed to be heading here anyway. I'm burning dog face, and I will see you on the next... Oh, that's the boat. I was like, what the hell is that ovoid down there? I thought it was a ring sitting on its edge, which was odd. Like a perspective trick. I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play God of War. 100 episodes deep, we might as well keep going now. And by the way, thanks for coming along the journey so far, uh, Burning Dog fans. It's been great having you here. Later!